Steam has been running things for a while now, and we have another platform to purchase games from, but is it worth it? A lot of people that I've been talking to have mostly been saying no, but... The, most of the reasons I've been getting has been... I just don't want to download another browser and put it on there and let it run, and frankly, I don't blame them, and... Epic has had kind of a good idea of what they can do, and that's just to really just give out a free game every week. But is it worth it? Seriously, is it worth it? Uh, I've been grabbing them for a while now, and I've not been playing them. Literally, this entire time, I've been downloading them, and I've not installed any of them. So, here's the plan. Start playing them. Evaluate the games and actually see if they're worth it. Let's find out. So it does not recognize the PlayStation controller, unfortunately, and I don't own an Xbox, so, um... Maybe it'll let me pick elsewise. Is anything beyond the edge of the storm? Hmm. Okay, so the storm is a big part. Does it be on the edge of the sin? Or there's only our village and the mountain. I like the animation. Right, will it recognize? Nope, I gotta use this. Do, 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 I have a pipe. I'm going to turn it down a little bit, volume wise. Just to 70, we'll just do 70. like these pipes I'm assuming are like leading the way for us I'm assuming for other people who have like or anything this direction nope Oh, I don't like that. The low energy returns to, to the machine in my mountain after all this time. Where were you and the rest of your kin were trying to save this town? If you were to finish what you started, you should turn back. I will be watching. Okay, uh... Spooked. In the beginning of the game, the atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. I loved the idea of this storm ravaging everything. Uh, I got in and there was no well. Just this storm everywhere. I was absolutely confused. Uh, I didn't understand, honestly, how to start the game. 
Uh, I, I spent a while trying to get my controller to work, and I didn't like the fact that I couldn't use my PS4 controller. It really uh, upset me. Uh, I played the whole entire game time with my keyboard and mouse, and there was a, a good chunk of it where I could have been playing with uh, this, and I it, it would have made the game a lot better for me, and it it, it just didn't work, and it it it, it sucked. It, it really did. But I still had a lot of fun in several a lot of points of the game. Uh, if you're wanting to play with a controller, uh, I would advise getting something on your computer that will let you use, and, and you have a PS4 controller, you get, get something that lets you use your PS4 controller as an Xbox controller, that way it will be able to pick it up. I haven't tested that out for myself, but that should work, I would assume. Um, what... But what I did really like in the very beginning was the atmosphere was just absolutely fantastic. Uh, whenever I, I was running up and I'm watching all these pipes that were all just popped up, it, it, was, it was leading you in such a great way, and you're getting through there, and I was just kind of blown away that they were just like just setting up this this minorly creepy thing that's coming up and I get into this room and this hand just reaches out and my brain and heart just sunk and I'm like Ooh! oh gosh I just froze for a moment where I'm just I didn't know what to do I I I I I huddled into the corner of the bridge as you saw there and I was just I I, I did I just oh and I was like please go away please go away please go away that's the only thing going through my head and it was just such a great like I I expected some like moss monster thing not some mechanical beast and i thought it was a great twist i loved it uh <laughs> okay i'm guessing It's hard to get the ball to go where I want it to. Do I need to get the ball down this way? Oh, I need to just hit the I just need to hit the thing so many times. Okay. To give it so much energy, I'm assuming? Okay. <laughs> bum ba bum I gained energy like uh the top left. Okay. So now I have a bunch of Ooh, sword. Old regular used as a conduit for transferring power to the boss. Strike the whole Thanks for the sub. Oh, they fire back. Ooh, 
I accidentally hit that. Um, this is already really interesting. It's like, uh, it reminds me of... Oh, get off of that! Um... The old, um... Brick Break puzzles. I think for a tutorial, they've done a really good job. Starting off with just the one wall that you had to deal with, and I, I tried smacking it a few times as you saw there, but it didn't click for me at all until like, I moved to the right side and I just hit a few things and everything went haywire. And everybody's like, oh, the walls are disappearing. Uh, and it was, it just, everything clicked and things started going away. And I was like, oh, oh, this is how it works. And I, I clear everything away and I didn't even notice the number on the top left side of the screen. It wasn't even aware. I saw numbers that were appearing there, and I was like, oh, this is how much damage I'm doing. That's all that's going on. It was... It, it was an, epit an epitome as to how oblivious... Epitome is not even the right word. It was a testament as to how oblivious I was being. I, I thought it was... Fantastic how they set everything up, showing you how the game works with striking and moving the ball around and then giving you the charge blade as to being able to charge things up and giving you the little arrow to where you can actually fire them exactly where you want them to go. Um, it shows you later on you actually get another weapon where you actually get a line where you can actually fire that off and the... As you will actually get ready to see, the puzzles actually start to escalate and get harder and harder and harder, and eventually there's a puzzle I get later on where I can't even do, and it is frustrating. I swear to God, I spent over 30 minutes on this puzzle and I never even finished it. I just said, you know what? I don't care. We're done. I am just leaving. I, you get to keep the energy when you finish trying to mess with the puzzles. And you can just keep going, which is fantastic. I didn't even notice uh, until I was about to end the stream as I was going on and playing this on Friday that on the bottom right, you can actually see the whole entire map of the areas that you're in. It's just really, really faded uh, and really hard to see. Uh, it, it, it's... Uh, and then you can actually press pause and actually look at the whole entire map. I just never even noticed. But they don't actually tell you that on the map, on the actual, uh, in the tutorial at all. It would be nice something as to actually add on to the tutorial, but no, no, not even there. It's, they, they do a great job of it though, to show you the basics of the game, which you don't really need to know that there is a map on there. They, you just need to know how to move the ball because that's all the whole entire game is finding out that you can actually oh there's a that's a health bar that's there that was a huge surprise like whenever i hit the first time and then the beams that are firing down below me uh later on there's also uh like tnt type explosive um uh power bars i guess you would call them they're they're really fun and they show up on one of the first boss battles as well, uh, which the boss battles they do are also fantastic, where you are fighting against the actual creature in the well while he is trying to stop you from powering up this uh, whole entire mechanism that you are in. Uh, you, the storylines that they are doing are fantastic. That. Every time you're going into different areas, it's great. So, but the puzzle es es escalation is just tremendous. Reserve power monolith, fail safe power features, 
In the event of bot C power failure, this facility presents system-wide data loss. So it's a save function. Okay. Um. Do I have to hit it? Aha! Power reserves. Okay, so from what I'm getting, we're in some sort of facility. I really wish I could play this with the. Uh, oh, I really don't like that. one of those you gotta be like on it game puzzles in this game were pretty good, if we're gonna call them puzzles, uh, and were really nice to work out. And I will admit, the most satisfying thing in this game to me was just plain, simple Brick Breaker. about tonight. Alright, see you later, Lurch. We're just gonna call it that, because it feels good. Now, knowing all of this, playing it for about two and a half hours... What do I think of the game? The game is a lot of fun. Uh, I know I had a lot of frustration in several parts, but... Uh, in any game, there's going to be a lot where there are barriers and skill that will stop people from having fun. Uh, but they basically solved this by allowing you to skip puzzles and move on to the rooms. 
uh, as you had the energy where you were able to keep moving from room to other rooms, and if you kept failing on a room, you would just mass up crazy amounts of energy and then be able to use that energy just to keep going. And it was, it was, it was great. It was a nice... But I don't know if it was on purpose. I'm pretty sure it was honestly something that they just did to allow you to just keep going. And I thought that was a nice failsafe. They turned Brick Breaker, a Brick Breaker game into a spooky RP where you gain equipment and a story and you're saving the world. And there's other characters to interact with interact with there's logs to read that give you information backgrounds and honestly a surprising amount of detail went into this weird little world and when you die you get it even a little bit more surprised it, the game's charming it's full of nostalgia and innovation they did a really good job To be honest, at the time of uploading, the game's free. Download this game. If the game isn't free anymore, it's still worth it. It was 15 bucks at the time of me recording this. But that's all just in my opinion. I would hope you all would make your own. Make your own opinion. It's what I'm trying to do with this series. You may have to download something else. Yeah, obviously you'd have to download Epic Game Store, but it's a free game a week. Every week it is a free game. You just gotta download it and play it. And you can watch me play these games for free. Live on Fridays. On Twitch. Link's gonna be down in the doobly-doo. The schedule's gonna be and there on Twitch. And you can check out the VODs later. Uh, you stay up there a couple of weeks. I hope you all have yourself a great day. Take care of yourselves. We'll see y'all later. I'll have other videos going up at other times. But we'll try keeping this going every week. Hopefully we'll see you on Twitch live. And you can interact. Help me out on the games as well. Because let's just face it, as you've seen early on in the game, I'm not always that observant. See you later. Bye-bye. I was like, this definitely looks like TNT. Okay, so we got a boss. We have a boss. Um... Oh my gosh, that took away, took away so much health. Okay, so we're going over percent out thingy.